blood. Whose? No one. No Tamara. Just the child. Sit down. Be humble. You beat them. There is no excuse. Like, no excuse for his behavior. Oh, I'm. <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs> what is that? I'm curious. It's a shame you cannot see. Oh. Oh. And we're back for the witcher today and i think it's the first time that i hear this song and i really like it and also the background is different i don't know if it's because we're like getting further into the story and that's why things change but i the like witcher's it contact in velen was to be hendrik the emperor's yep. spy Hendrik was operating incognito in that war ravaged land. His mission, His mission to, gather to gather intelligence, intelligence about, about Siri. Siri. Yet Terrell's <gasps> arrived too oh, late. The wild I have a new reached Hendrik first. New stuff. The Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, mm. but the wraiths had failed to find his notes. Geralt read them and knew that Siri had been a guest of the Bloody Baron, a local warlord, and mm -hmm. that she quarreled with a witch. It's cool because the game does the um, ooh, the recap so i don't have to do it <laughs> so we're in the midst of trying to find a goat if i remember correctly uh this way yeah. i think and yeah last episode we met with the bloody Another baron clue. Which, I'm not sure about him, like, I feel like he's not that good of a person. I don't know. He's like, he was drunk, and he may or may not have attacked his wife and daughter, and then they ran away, I don't know. Uh, maybe Igni. I can hear. Uh, that stench. the goat whoa 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 critical damage <laughs> and last episode we also played with Siri which was fucking amazing I can hear a goat. This way, I think. Goat. Here, princess. Come here. Hoofed and horned, 
Should have known it would be stubborn. But I have the, um, the 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 bell or something. Where? Oh, I'm sorry, goat. I mean, princess. Where's the bell? Use the bell and lead the go to the pillar. Where? Huh? Where's the bell? Another clue. No, I'm. I. Uh... Good. <laughs> no! Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. A bell here. How do I? Oh. I don't remember how to. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Um <laughs> Okay. On, let's go see okay. the Okay. Oh my god. That was hard. That was the hardest mission. Finding the bell in my inventory. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Come on, damn it. Come here. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? This way, your grace. <laughs> Your grace. Where the hell did you go? Oh my god. Where are you going? Bear. Bear. Run, you stupid piece of shit. Whoa! That's fine. Show me what you Woohoo! I forgot how to... So many things. How do I use Igni? 
Oh, okay. Roasted there. Let's go. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Mm-hmm. of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. <laughs> Happy for you, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Anna <laughs> and Tamara, they might be in danger. The white wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Okay. Chicken? Fine. Be right back. A little glitch there. Oh, a rat. Will this do? Is it alive, Geralt? Doesn't look like it. over is that it that is it spirits had nothing more to say like where they went or where they are now that was crazy an and augur i did they're gone the child remains mentioned a child whose why anna's anna was pregnant she was and she miscarried oh hmm. baron didn't mention it afraid perhaps or ashamed, or forgetful, or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. Twas the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. Okay, Pillar. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Mm -hmm. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help, lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the fuck? blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed. They what? The witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. 
Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year. But we'll find a way all the same. I've heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name. Appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Interesting. I always Whatever say that. I do, I gotta find the botchling true. first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If where, what you say where? is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Yeah. Wow. I have a bestiary of bottling. Cursed ones. Saying a bottling is ugly is like saying shit's not particularly tasty. <laughs> Can't say it's a lie, but it doesn't exactly convey the whole truth either. <laughs> Lambert, which of the wolf school? Butchlings are perhaps the most repulsive creatures a witcher will ever have the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies discarded without a proper burial. Their appearance is that of partially decayed fetus. Their own form flesh twisted with hate, fear and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant woman, women driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. Axie, okay. What the hell? I'm not sure about this. I don't want to see one. Uh, as you guys know, I work with babies. I don't want to see dead babies. <laughs> I don't wanna... no, no, I don't want to. Take it easy. Sorry. Oh, maybe I could have taken the fast travel. Whatever, it's fine. Unwanted and dead babies. So the bloody baron got angry and caused a miscarriage to his wife because he beat her or something. What the fuck happened? 
lightning strike, he said. That's it, Roach. I was gone not even for a day. What do you mean, lightning strike? What? what? Oswin, anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies at no rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. I'll try. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Okay, okay. That's the Baron, but I need to save the dude first. Can I... Can I use an um, Ard? No? Uh, here? Ard? <laughs> Ard. Where? Oh, what is that? Oh, loot? Of course. Hello? here but I couldn't find him where is he what <laughs> open open everything I'm, uh, I'm dying I'm dying I'm dead <laughs> where was he oh my god can I can I do that again cuz that was really bad what the? <laughs> I was like, I can hear you, but where the fuck? Okay, let's do this again, shall we? Oh my god, that's far. Get away! Get away! Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Oh! Oswin, anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to. What? Fire, you blind? In that simple. My brother's in the. St I'll try. See what I can do. Can I save now? Thank you. Okay. I can do it. I can do it. I know where to go. I just don't know where he is, but I know where to go. <laughs> oh, come on. I was busy saving the horses. That's what happens. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, 
Tables. Okay, wait. Where where is the main gate though? The main gate. Where? Where? I'm 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 lost. The main gate. hardest mission use dice to change the color of which your gear oh that's cool I didn't know it was such like customizable items why is this so hard it's just some little fire okay Can I open it like from outside here? Here? Locked. Bunch. Probably bolted on the inside. Oh, yeah. Oh. The in. Okay, but that, that that don't help me at all. <laughs> Damn it! Lots of smoke. Gotta hurry. Yeah, let's go. Like this, okay. Did I get the horses? Oh, I thought I had to open the horses' uh, doors. <laughs> We've a hero in our midst. You've earned yourself a barrel of Lyrian. I know your wife miscarried. <laughs> Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. <laughs> You've been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? <laughs> you really want to fight with me, boy? On, they ran closer, didn't they? Lying prick! That finishing move, though. We need to talk. He really laid it on him like, I know your wife miscarried. You beat her into a pulp. Like. <laughs> God, Gerald, you're coming out strong. Okay. We don't beat around the bush here. Sit down. Be humble. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Your wife, how'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Mm -hmm. Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? 
Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. <laughs> Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table. Spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and to do me what? Away. Like keep her in a prison? I blacked out. In a cage? Like next. when I came to. She wants I to leave alone. you. Let her. Like you can't. Oh my god. What happened next? Next. It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. I'm sorry, but I don't feel bad for him I at all. The chamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Yep. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important, or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What did you do what with the child? To do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Why make things right, Understand, like? Understand, <sighs> Witcher. My child was dead. Mm -hmm. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope like, you yeah, find but your no. city. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. 
Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? You don't need the details. Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's already didn't. <sighs> it's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. Yeah. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. Like, yeah, it's, it's, of course it's sad that they lost a child, but like... <sighs> there is no excuse, like, no excuse for his behavior. I don't care if you drink, I don't care if she pushes all your button. She or he or whoever, you know what I mean? Like, there is no excuse to hit on someone except in self-defense like that's like that's cool but because you're angry really like <laughs> and he must have hit her hard like so she miscarried are you kidding and he knew it was a daughter so it was a fetus that was grown enough that you know the sex and she miscarried that, like... You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. And she wanted to leave you, just leave just her. A lovely spot. I mean, you you Damn let her it, leave. Will you relent? I'm plowing now. I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botchlings on the prowl. Oh my God. Look. No way. No. Oh my god. Take it in your arms, quick. But if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing and restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling, I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods! Back to the fortress. What? With this? As 
As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubberkin. Oh, folk. How can... What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Come now, promise berries. We'll speak afterwards. It's a good thing nobody's there. No. Christ. the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya. 
and embrace these, my daughter. Good. Now bury the body. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubricant. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. Uh. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. <laughs> but... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubricant. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Oh. I'm... <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs> I think this um this mission kind of makes me more emotional because um at work y'all know I'm a nurse, right? With labor and delivery. And um it wasn't actually my patient but we had a We had a patient um, last week that came to deliver her fourth baby and um, she um, she lost it. We, we were not able to uh, to revive the baby. Um, we were not able to save it, basically, and um, it was it was supposed to be a, a delivery at home uh, with a um, how do you call it in English? I don't even know. Uh, with someone that helps, um, the de like delivery um, at home deliveries, and they noticed that the the baby's heart was going down and so that's why they came to the hospital to my hospital on my unit and we admitted her and there was still a heart at that time that was beating and by the time that we um, put her into the operating room room because we couldn't wait for the delivery like the heart was just going down 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 like you know a baby's heart is normally between 110 beats per minute and 160 um that's the normal heart rate for a baby but um the that baby's heart rate was like going down from like 70 60 50 you know what i mean like so it was an emergency so um by the time that we put her into the operating room and got the baby out there was no heart beating anymore and so we couldn't save it like we tried <laughs> obviously we tried but couldn't save it so we uh, had to put it um, we take we took pictures and it was such a cute baby like he was it was a little boy and he was really really cute like Oh my god. And... <laughs> Sorry. Um...
and the father took the baby into his arms like he said like just stop stop trying to revive him you know like it was just it was too much in it was it was already dead anyway so he said to stop and he took his little boy and got out of the operating room like bawling his eyes out and anyway so yeah that was hard and you know it wasn't even my patient um, but we spoke about that we, we talked about that on every shift like everyone talked about that situation because it doesn't happen that often like nowadays I mean in in our hospital we don't lose that many babies you know what I mean like it's not supposed to happen and of course we are trained into that kind of that kind of tragedies but Still, like when it happens, it's it shakes everyone. Like everyone was shook, and yeah, losing a baby is never a great thing. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> especially like when when it's it like almost almost there, like almost born. If if we would have. If she would have arrived just a little bit earlier, you know what I mean? Like, we could have saved him, maybe. Well, you never know, but... So yeah, this mission is kind of... <laughs> maybe... Not the right mission for me at the moment, <laughs> because... That, that, that thing that happened at my work, like, happened last week, so it's really fresh. Um... Yeah, I'm sorry if that like if this triggered uh, some people I'm gonna put a warning in the editing because this is like pretty dark stuff that I'm talking about but I just needed to explain why <laughs> why this affected me so much I mean I think it, it must affect everyone that plays this part but but like especially me like I was crying and everything so I just wanted to tell you guys why it really resonated with me uh, seeing the baby and everything my god by blood's power I summon you with your name I beseech you Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. This is actually gonna work. Wow. <laughs> Fight. Okay. Okay, I'm getting better. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh my god. <sighs> like I love my work. Like what? What I? The story that I just told you. It doesn't happen that often, like I said, like... It's... it's not that many times a year, you know what I mean? Like, it's maybe twice a year or something, but... It happens, and it's part of my work, you know what I mean? Like, I have to take care of the mother and the father and... Yeah. I don't even have children, but I can imagine, like... The loss. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about that because I'm gonna cry again, so... I mean... Oh, fuck you. I don't care. I 
maybe you don't. One of them must have dropped it. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Clothing. Are they change in here? Both were here. I'm going the right way. Just had a field day. Still worth a closer look. Oh, my God. Jesus. Get away, get away, get away. do we have here? Bones have been here a while.
chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. <sighs> Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Mm -hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Blocking, why? Fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? Another room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure. Not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. <laughs> Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another time. Though really? anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. True. Why? Because cause he beat her, sir. Yeah, we know. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? were like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damned birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well... Like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand? Oi, no, these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire. Fine, what happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden, and then from the woods. A roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. He has a knack for telling stories. Horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. 
Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy nilly. And willy nilly. The reason we escaped. The I like miss that. wanted to go back for a mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. Why the deck? Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. <laughs> she saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We need to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. I like that. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. All right. Thank you for your help. Thanks for your help. Lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. It's true that the children look really weird. Like someone in the comment section in the last episode. Oh my god. <laughs> said that the children look, look very disproportionate. And it's true, like their faces, I don't know, it's kind of creeps me out a little. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. I'm glad that we did that instead of um, attacking the butling. It was a cool thing to do to make it like rest in peace, kind of. Where should I go? Like, there or there? Tamara or Anna there, I guess. Use your witcher sense, I don't know, like... Oh my god, no! Family matters. Get here. Where should I go first? There. It's the Baron. Where am I going exactly? Like, oh, yeah, I'm on the right path, baby. I was born this way, born this way. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> no, thank you. I may be young, but I'm ready. There's nothing that you can't tell me. No, no. Nothing. I make hey, uh, moves with ambition. I do. You. I. Right, right. 
I don't care about what you're saying, boy. was a little bit fast. Forget that. Here. I'm grateful. Cool, thank you. <gasps> yep. <coughs> Hello, doggy. A word, please. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Yeah. Speaking of which, none of your business. Know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Mm-hmm. Ram, pam, ram. What the fuck? There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story, insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Oh, it's good to know her spirit's free. Mm. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. It's not villain. The problem is you. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenfurt. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Oh, well. yeah. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? I remember that. Uh... But I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri. Like we agreed. Yeah. Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. 
Thought a bit of garrapin would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. <gasps> Am I gonna piss here? That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Care Morhen. Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. The exception. They made an exception for me. Right. Mean to say you're a she-witcher? Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I mm. learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. <laughs> a woman could swing a sword. I've known one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount themselves. Come on. Perhaps you'd care to wager. Oh Thinking yeah. You can outrun me on an horse. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Naturally. Obviously. Black mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Coward. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. Oh! <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Yeah. Oh, he was so insulting, the other guy. They can't, like, basically he said women can't write anything but dicks. Like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> what? <laughs> you gonna eat your own dick, boy, at the end of this race? <laughs> gonna dawns. cut your balls and feed it to him. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! <laughs> Definitely gonna win this. Let's go. Your sword is mine! That'll be the day! Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it! Your sword is mine! That'll be the day! I don't know where it ends though. Don't ya? Had one just like it! Your wind, not woman! Worthy of the best horse! The mare is yours! Thank you! What? A griffin? A chance to win. What? Oh, come on! You're stopping there? I screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And? They make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. 
Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. Mm -hmm. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Let's play Gwent! <laughs> No. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Don't get me wrong, Colin I love Gwent. It's just witches, not the moment right now. Devils and who knows what the fuck else? Every which way they turn. How do you wind up here? Just curious. Those are questions I didn't ask no last secret. time. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home. <laughs> With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled. I love girls. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Okay. So long. Ya yeah, prick! <laughs> oh. Fine tomorrow. Oh. Um, Fuck. That is not where I wanted to go. I'm sorry. Wait, Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A ragdoll. Uh -huh. Why, though? Folk don't object to your white mold. Fancy an outing to find that she beast. Bring the Smiths, lad. Get two, man. Ooh. What did I do to deserve your company? <laughs> Time to water the horses. Maybe fast travel. Folk don't object to your white moon. At least there. Devil's bit. Hey, Roach. Teleported. Get up. Get up. Let's go. So I'm going to finish this quest. And I think I'm gonna stop playing after. Move it. I love that sound. Back on the rock. Horseshoe on the pavement. It's amazing. No, slow now. I have the, the thing. Halt! No passage! Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't, unless someone's got a pass. I've got it. 
This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. It happens, so be it. You may come through. <laughs> okay. Come through. Points available too. Wait a minute. Character. Also, last episode I totally didn't notice that I was supposed to activate this. Ah, to be able to continue the quest with the. Like looking for the witch or something, sorceress. Oh, what is that? Exploding shields. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh. Okay. I actually came here, but I didn't, like, in a off-camera episode. Um, there's a barber? What is that? Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. To meet Tamara. The Elven Rebel. What? Long and loose shave except for a ponytail. What is that? I'm curious. It's a shame you cannot see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? No, okay. Um, oh, I already paid. Long and loose, I guess. That's that's the one that I had, right? Long and loose. Twenty crowns gone. Oof. Geralt, you looking good. Okay. So long. Woo! My boy. My boy's got loose hair. Do I have a lot of crowns? I I kinda wanna see with the ponytail. Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? 
Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. I like that. I think I like that. So long. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Let's go, Witcher. Okay, I'm I'm stopping like cuz it's expensive, you know. Jesus Christ. Ooh. <laughs> Who said that? Okay. Long live. I want to try all the haircuts with the hell. But I wish it was like in, you know, Grand Theft Auto, you can change also your haircut and beard and tattoos, whatever. And what's great is that, well, I am, what I'm saying right now just applies for what I know of Grand Theft Auto, which is San Andreas, which I played <laughs> thousands and thousands of hours of. Um, and in that game, you can... You can change haircut and, and beard, like I was saying, but you can see what it's gonna look like and then buy it. And then the Witcher, you cannot! Crawl back onto your rock. Everyone to me! To me! Fess wears this side of the pond town. What is a war veteran? Play it, please. Bottle of it. Oh, I I'm out. Requisition by the hour to support the war. Hey, the war. You might want all of Take a the peek at my way. So, yes, yeah. his decrees must appear on someone. Ooh. I'm looking for Tamara, the bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Oof, he's looking good with the ponytail. Moitak send you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. Send you? Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. 19 Finally years old. Finally we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that 
creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce, my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. I'm gonna Powerful help you, friends. obviously. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. <laughs> I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Who are you? Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden. Witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. I don't so the like Baron him. I had a witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Thank you, Geralt. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to Of course time. not. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long. And good luck. Nibbles. Why is the cat not afraid of me? Because I heard a... Like, one of you guys, the subscriber, said that... Cats don't like witchers. But this one doesn't seem to mind me. I feel like... That's why Geralt was looking at it like, Hey, why are you not afraid of me? All is prepared. We await only your arrival. When I told the commander of your commitment in Zeal, he agreed to welcome you into our ranks at once. At first, you will be put through preliminary training, but you already know how to ride and wield a blade, and thus have already mastered the essentials. The rest will not take much time. As soon as you don our colors, you will, we will set out in search of your mother. And we will fight her, I promise, even if we have to come every inch of it. Combe. 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 I don't know. Okay, um, should I uh, stop uh, there? Oh. I don't know. Oh, there's a... wait. 
I can fast travel. Ah. Honor in the fatherland. Fuck. There we go. Uh, this one. No, oh, I don't care. Jesus Christ. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. <laughs> threw it away? Oh, God, I hoped, despite all. Oh. <sighs> but what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! So long. Should have come back. What? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. I didn't mean to scare you. Jesus. Okay, use your witcher sense. What? I am lost. I. All remaining leads. I don't know. Okay, I think I'm too tired because I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Did I not do like everything in one place and that's why? It was the wild hunt. The wild hunt. I don't know what's the red dot here on the map. If I were done, we're forever getting tossed at the tavern. Want a chat? No one me. My head's a twirling with hunger. Here. What is this red? thing <laughs> so use your witcher senses to locate where the sense is coming from like I'm is that in the castle like maybe I didn't do everything in the castle. I don't know, but I'm gonna end it here anyway. Like, next episode, I'll try to investigate all remaining leads in Belmont and find the wife. I have no idea where she is. All right, well, I didn't expect to cry today. <laughs> Jesus, that was intense. It's a really interesting quest, though. I don't like the Bloody Baron. As soon as I saw him, I was suspicious of him. But yeah, I wonder what happened with the, with the mother. I hope she's all right. I don't know if the big beast is the same that we saw with Siri, like you know, in the the flashback that we just did. That kind of like it looked like a griffin or something. I wonder if if it's the same thing. So maybe Siri is with the mother or helped her. We're gonna gain information about Siri from the mother. I don't know. 
I don't know, but that was cool. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for crying so much. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye!